Shalom Aleichem, sweet holy souls, how are you doing? I want to, it's really like bubbling, boiling in my mind to remind each and every single one of you of the greatness that is waiting and prepared for you just by being the ones that you truly are because into our bodies we have been sent as eternal souls but when we reached into our body we started suffering from the nature of our body and the first and main thing that happens to us when we are being conceived into the body or maybe actually it's more right to say that it happens when we live um, our bod the, our mother's bodies in the time of birth so an angel is coming and hitting under our noses under our mouth and that's why we have this um, certain small valley that hole above our top lip you cannot see mine I'm I'm well hiding it with my uh, with my mustache but um, to normal people um, it represents a finger of an angel that is erasing our ancient memories, the access to the ancient archives, archives of Kedem. But the soul still remembers, but into our bodies, our awareness is not allowing that information to, to, to be accessed, to be revealed. But the truth is that we are descendants of highly and holy people, just that we came into a place of forgetfulness and we do not remember who we truly are. But your great grandparents and your great, great, great grandparents and your ancestors are such highly and holy people. And inside of them, inside their souls, you lived when a person is when a person's soul is being conceived, so a spark of soul is joining from the family of the father and the family of the mother, and he is receiving both. But it is a spiritual seed that holds within all the ancient knowledge and memory of all the souls that you were part of before that separation, before you came into your body. And therefore you need to remember that and to be the one that you are and to fly high with that to high destinies to amazing places to places that no man ever lived before by connecting yourself through simple meditation through a deep inner conversation with our maker talking to him about your soul reminding and finding your true nature of who you are and by that you'll enjoy the access into those ancient archives to the memories of your ancestors to see what you saw when you were inside of them and that is a wake-up call it's a reminder for all of us to remember we are much more than the portion of godliness that is trapped inside our physicality inside our bodies our bodies are a chariot a holy chariot that holds within a sapphire stone a great marble stone a great pure holy soul that lives like a soul within a throne inside a cup inside a vessel that contains the godly portion and that godly portion is not cut and divided because it's eternal and it's godly therefore the dividing and the separation that we're experiencing is only in our awareness as an outcome of the nature of our body of the prison of the trap that we are stuck within but if our awareness will not be to the bars of that cell, to the sides of that cage, and it will be inner, we will find that inner gate, that inner passage into our past and towards our future. And we will become back the ones that we truly are. Those highly, highly, highly super holy souls that holds 
ancient wisdom within them, inner access to the maker of the universe, being part of the tree of life, the oak of life, being one family with all the rest of the souls that are the descendants of Avraham, Yitzchak and Yaakov and their holy wives, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Leah, Zilpah and Bilha, and all those holy righteous souls are souls that held our souls within them. You experienced the life within Avraham, within Sarah. They were not only your parents, they were your parents and the spark of soul that you have been conceived to be, that you have been born to be, was back then part of their highly and godly soul. So don't forget who you really are. And even if you do not remember, don't ignore that great connection of yours. And you can know who you are by your nature. If you find yourself in the biblical stories, if you find yourself feel a lot of connection, a lot of inspiration from holy source, from holy sources, from holy stories of righteous people, and they represent so much for you, it means that there is great similarity and that those stories reflect things that are telling a lot about your soul. So allow your soul to express itself in the great beauty beyond physicality, to be the soul, to listen to your inner quiet, to be the one highly good and kind soul that you are and to allow it to be shared and to be expressed and to shine. And may the light shine upon all our loved ones with us and that we will see the redemption with healthy eyes and great happy hearts. Amen. You know me, my name is RDMC with the Muna Project, all the nations with me, close your eyes. Just breathe, see the truth, don't chase the fake world, don't buy the fake news, be yourself, your own true self, don't let no one take our natural wealth, see the good, no fear, no despair, cherish who that you are, and share. From a source of power, from an endless spring, light up courage, in yourself you They can kick you down to the ground, hold yourself up to you, I put up your crown, King of the Creator, Holy Soul inside, focus on the spiritual and you shall...